We just got done seeing Suicide Squad. It was not good. It was actually pretty terrible. It's in a, what, 33% right now in Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, I haven't looked. Last time I looked, it was 43%, and I saw that there were some DC fans trying to get Rotten Tomatoes to petition, taken yeah, off did, the internet completely. Yeah. So I don't know how they're doing. I guess like DC fans are trying to remove credibility from the internet then, because 33% or 3 out of 10 is about exactly where this belongs. I don't have many nice things to say. Maybe we just kind of go down the cast list because there's a lot of people in this flick. A sure, lot sure. of characters. Quite the ensemble. I wasn't expecting Will Smith to have such a prominent role. I didn't either. Based Deadshot. on the trailer, they didn't really yeah. allude to him being a big piece of it. They had a lot of Harley Quinn in the trailer for good reason. Yeah, very good reason. And I'm going to give this two scores, actually. At the end, we're going to rate the film and we're going to rate uh, Margot Robbie's ass because that is by far the best reason to go to the film. I was worried that uh, Will Smith was going to come off as a goody two-shoes when he's playing a kind of a hardened bad guy, and that's exactly what happened. He's not believable in the slightest as a criminal. Jared Leto is in it more than I actually thought he was going to be, unfortunately, because he was not a good Joker. And I don't mind Jared Leto. No. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't hold any kind of torch to Heath Ledger, and... Uh, he should stick to his indie heart art. Maybe you're oh, been sorry, a little hard forward. on him. I, like, I didn't think he was horrible. Maybe I don't blame Jared Leto. I maybe blame whoever tried to cast another Joker after you've had Jack Nicholson and yeah, Heath Ledger. Maybe them, they just didn't need another movie with a Joker in it. And both of them skate or act circles around this character who just felt so forced. And he just felt like he was trying to be... You know, he was trying to go a step above Heath Ledger even. And it just didn't, it didn't seem natural at all. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn... Um, People are saying she's the highlight. I guess I agree she is the highlight, but when you're, you know, in a shit show like this, you're going to stand out. Uh, her accent was not fully formed. It was all over the place, but since she's crazy, I guess that works to its benefit. Yeah. <laughs> but her backs, everybody's backstory is, you know, four minutes of screen time and you're just supposed to instantly get behind these characters, but we're all supposed we're all supposed to know they're bad guys. But I don't understand why, like, Will Smith, they still had a backstory, but I don't understand why he's a bad guy, why he wants to shoot people in the first place. I know, it makes no sense. His whole plot is to make his daughter respect him. Well, I, here's the thought, stop killing people, you know? <laughs> stop murdering people. We get a backstory of, you know, 30 seconds where they say, Harley Quinn fell in love with the Joker for reasons. We don't know why. And the first thing he says to her is, I need a machine gun. And she's just all in. Just all in. Why not? Let's just kill all the guards and everybody because I love you now. And that's, love does do crazy things, oh, Derek. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a bit too crazy, especially for a psychiatrist, a licensed mm -hmm. psychiatrist. Sorry for going, sorry for yelling at you. Sorry for going off. Accepted. The sorceress, you know, we had another buddy come with who doesn't want to do this because he has some self-respect. <laughs> but he said, you know, she looked cool at first, and then towards the end, it just gets Looney Tunes, and she looks like a, a cartoon character. Powderpuff Girl or something. Yeah, I mean, the effects do rival that of the Scorpion King almost at times. Not not graphically, because graphics have, of course, you know, jumped a lot. But just how it's presented is just silly and stupid, and it's not appealing at all. Batman's in the film. He's in the trailers, so we know that. Uh, were you disappointed with the lack of Batman, or...? I guess I didn't... I, I don't know a lot about DC Comics. I guess I should have known that Batman is in DC Comics, yeah, but I didn't... DC, yeah, yeah. I guess I had seen the trailer a couple times, but I didn't recognize that Batman was going to be in it, because mm -hmm. I figured if they're going to do a movie with Batman in it, he'd at least be in on trying to battle some of the bad guys. <laughs> do you but... think you would notice the giant... Uh... Ghostbusters light that's coming out of the building and all the shit floating shit, around. Yeah. Maybe he was at Wayne Enterprise in Europe or something. Do they? Stuff happens. They don't explain where he's at. Right? No, I mean, no, I didn't like, miss anything. No. He's, he's just, got powerful friends though. He's just sleeping one that's off. Right. Just not not around that day. Okay. I mean, that's possible. I mean, he can't be ready every. He could be in another country that that there's only like maybe a a day or so timeline there. That's the other problem. Is this whole movie takes place in one night in. A few hours, and we're supposed to a fall in love with these killers, b sympathize with them, c by the fact that they've all grown together and have this big bond. The first like 20, 30 minutes, it was hard to keep up with because there's so many storylines. About I don't know, they fit in about 17 songs over the first 20 minutes. Yeah, and um, yeah, it just seemed all kind of colluded together, like they 
got pieces of it and didn't really know how to fit it together. They had parts of it before the intro, parts of it after the intro. Yeah, the the editor was just off out of his mind. I don't know. You could tell there was reshoots. I don't know what was reshot though because the whole thing was just convoluted. The plot, I mean, made a little sense, I guess, but uh, it was just a, a string of one-liners and kind of Me Too Deadpool jokes. There was no real sense of structure to the movie. There's a scene about halfway through where a plane, the plane gets shot down that our heroes are on, or our villains, whatever yep, they're supposed yep. to be. Helicopter. Who shot the plane down? I look over Derek, he, he's like, what, what? I look over Works Clint, him. he's like, who shot, who shot this? It's never talked about. Having the plane crash has no bearing on the story at all. So what was the point? And it was, I mean, even less of a point since they have two other helicopters crash uh, there's, yeah, there's, in the movie. So This whole movie's helicopters crashing. And everybody movie. lives through every helicopter yeah, yeah, crash. Nobody dies in this film as far as I remember. No, the pilots died. Well, um, no, nobody that matters <laughs> dies in this movie. One other thing that I, I had forgotten to mention that was kind of eating at me early in the movie mm. is that... They they form this team without really even having a bad guy yet to go after. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, they, they knew that there was a Superman that existed and there could be, a, I guess, uh, like an anti-Superman. Anti -Superman, I guess so maybe that's what they were... Superman, sure. I guess it's better to be proactive than reactive, but from a movie standpoint, it was difficult to get behind this, this team. <laughs> Especially when it's just so quick. Yeah. <laughs> this lady, I don't know her name, Detective... Uh, woman yeah. i don't know she she has this orchestrates this elaborate way to get all these killers in her pocket and she presents it to the pentagon i guess is that where these guys are she just throws out a confidential folder by the way every folder in this movie is conveniently labeled tox top secret in giant letters maybe if you have a top secret folder the first thing you want to do is avoid labeling it top <laughs> secret she orchids gets this all figured out and then within the course of what like half a day, they already have shit go bad, <laughs> and the guys are yeah, like, let's, go let's not try this out. the normal way. I was curious during the trailer how they were going to control them. Yeah. Like, I didn't think it was going to just be the pure heart or love yeah, no, 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 trying no, to no. save mankind. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a character in the film that dies, like, right away. <laughs> it's, it's like the most cliche guy you can kill, too. <laughs> it's like, who's the type of... Uh, ethnicity that you never see in films <laughs> we're killing him to send a message it's like there they did it they went that route of course like fight a, scenes pretty weak uh, i mean there's a lot of close-up shots guns gunplay baseball bats just bad guy <laughs> was boring nothing that you could really get behind or get entertained by just a big glowing circle of shit uh, i guess let's summarize with a couple ratings um one the film itself, and to the important thing, which is Margot Robbie, um, her features. I'm going to give Suicide Squad, since I gave Batman v Superman a three, um, I think this is, I think this is worse than, no, I gave Batman v Superman a five. I thought it was just completely average. It failed in a lot of things, but it did enough right for me to be like, uh, okay. I, I sat through and I was enjoying it enough. This is a three out of 10. Margot Robbie's ass is a 11 out of 10. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to also compare this movie, or my movie rating, to another movie rating I had in the past, a superhero movie, Fantastic Four. I gave a four, and I thought this was slightly more entertaining to me than, than Fantastic Four, the new one, so I'm going to go with a five. You're going to go with a five on okay. that? Okay. So I read an article today, um, it said people that watch really crappy movies are more intelligent than the average person. Really? Yeah, I read that today. And I saw this movie, and I must be really fucking st stupid, <laughs> because this movie was horrible. I'm going to give it a two. Like, two. I, I can't yep. even get it through it, really. How, how can you not figure it out in 2016? Like, Hellboy came out what 16 years ago maybe not that long but it's been a long fucking time hellboy's a great movie it's funny it's dark it's it's got it all great action deadpool scott pilgrim kick ass those movies get what they are and they do it well this movie sucks what other movies did this director i don't know i know he did fury i didn't know if there's anything else he did fury been... yeah he did fury oh, that was good. fury was, was decent yeah, that was a decent like movie that. it gets a little long in some parts but it's, it's far better movie. than this. Yeah, it's a movie about tanks. Yeah. Pressure he needs was to, on. He needs to keep it simple. And DC, I'm so sick of their shit trying to rush out to be Marvel. 
Marvel works because they leave the films to one to two characters and now they can branch out because they've built this. It's like beating a dead horse. DC thinks, let's just throw it all in there right now. Just force it down their throats. The DC fans are going to eat it up. They're going to pretend that it's great and everybody else is an idiot in their eyes. And uh, it's just wrong. This is a stupid movie. Don't see it. <laughs> Let DC start over and figure it out. I got nothing else. I'm sorry I'm so upset. Wasting money on this shit. You didn't rate Margot's ass. Oh, uh, well. Oh, you're, you're too good for that? No. Well, I mean, no. you've already taken 11. And, yeah, yeah, I mean, where, I, else, where else can we go with this? Like, it, it's pretty much. 11's across the board. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for joining us in the car. This will be a fun one to edit. <laughs>